A, a bunch of you have asked for a little update of my uh, herb garden this year. And um, so I thought I'd, instead of writing it out, I'd just kind of show you around. I, I usually do this once or twice during the summer. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I'm getting over a little cold. But anyway, so this is the main part of the herb garden. Right here, You, I've got my rosemary that's looking really good. Um, I always feel like I don't have enough rosemary. I use rosemary. I love rosemary. I use it in so many things, especially grilling in the summer and for marinades. I think I might plant some more rosemary. Behind that is the beautiful lemon verbena that's doing great. Um, that I, I've, I made a sorbet out of that last year that was incredible. And um, I also like to put it in vodka. Here is nasturtium just coming out, little flowers starting. Behind that, I've got... Uh, uh, what should we call it? Tarragon. I just made a, a tarragon vinegar, one of my favorite um, herb vinegars. This is just a regular um, Greek oregano. I'm not crazy about this stuff. It's kind of harsh. It comes back every year, and it's like I wish it would just sort of go away, but it sort of doesn't, so I use it sometimes. And behind it, you can see the fennel's gone a little ape. Th th that's a perennial. That comes up every year also, but I, li I like that. And pretty soon we'll have those black eastern swallowtail um, caterpillars on it that I love to, to look for. In fact, I think I almost see one now. No, I don't know. Anyway, so this, more nasturtium. This is, um, this is summer savory, one of my absolute favorite herbs. I love this stuff. It's, you know, in, in, in France they use it for beans and um, a lot of things, but I like it with fruit even like strong fruits, like, um, like peaches. And I think it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And, um, obviously with meat and stuff, this one here is another oregano, but this is, um, the Italian oregano, which is a lot milder. And th what that really is, is a, is a cross between marjoram and the Greek oregano. You can see it, it, it actually smells exactly like that and it's it's really gentler and i actually prefer it for it's a lot easier to work with behind that you got your parsley um and next to that this giant thing is lovage that's also a perennial comes up every year i have to keep cutting it back because it grow it'll grow to be like six feet tall and frankly it's so strong i only use like a couple of leaves at a time it's, it, it tastes like celery, but like high octane celery. So it, it's kind of hard to deal with, I, and, but I, I do love it. Um, and that in front of it is, is, is burnet. Um, I also use some of this, it's a salad burnet, they also always call it. it this smells like, um, did I say that smelled like cucumber? No, so that's, that's one that smells like celery. This one smells like cucumbers. This one's got an amazing, delicious smell. I actually just made vinegar out of that too. So I don't know, let's see, what else we got around here? Around here are all the, my mint plants that last summer I had all my mint in pots and they jumped out of the pots and landed all over the place and are now going crazy. This one's gotten a little aphid action. You can see all the little black things on it. That's actually holes. I have to spray this with some neem oil. Um, this one is that um, berry and cream uh, mint that's really, really gentle and lovely. This one is just some, I don't even know what, this is like a, a wild mint actually. It's really strong. It's I like a spearmint, but, but stronger. And there's another one over here. This is, was actually a mojito mint that jumped pot. I mean, I usually like to grow mint in pots because you know they take over the garden, but they took over anyway. Um, oh, and I got a couple of things here too. And this is, um, speaking of marjoram, this is marjoram that's doing fantastic this year. I love this. Um, I made a pesto with just marjoram and parsley recently, and it was surprisingly really good. It wasn't too strong. You'd think it would be sort of too bold for, for to toss with pasta, but it was really lovely. And, oh, this is a um, winter savory. This comes back. This is doing really well, too. I know. Everything is doing... Everything except this mint that's being aphidized 
is doing a very, very well. Now up here is a little strange, sad little garden in a way, because I had put um, uh, a lot of garlic in the back, but the garlic got flooded out, so I had to pull it prematurely. And then I put in things like, this is anise hyssop, which I love. This will get those big blue brushy flowers. And it really smells like root beer. They're amazing. And that little scrawny thing in the back will be gigantic. That's that's a, 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 a pineapple sage that in, in October has these gorgeous red flowers that I love. I basically plant it for the flowers. And all around it are just various types of hot chilies. I can't even remember what I planted. Um, a lot of weird ones. Some of them are like really freaking hot. I don't remember exactly. So that's there. And then if you come down this way a little bit, I could just show you a couple more things. I've got things kind of spread out. So oh, all my thyme, all my different types of thyme, um, it's under all this stuff. It comes back every year. This is doing really well. That's lemon thyme. There's an orange thyme in there. There's just the regular uh, French thyme. And this gorgeous thing, this is borage. Look at these flowers. This color is just electric. And borage is supposed to taste like cucumber. To me, it always tastes a little bit like fish. And I'm not really sure why that is but it keeps coming back every year and you can't stop it. It reseeds itself. It's all over the place. And this gigantic thing is, um, is a bee balm. I think I put one little plant in here and it went wild. And I planted it for the bees and butterflies and the hummingbirds. And it's also edible, but I haven't really eaten it. I mean, I'm not quite sure what to do with it. And let's see, what else we got over here? Oh, and my, all my sage is, all my sage is over this way, which also got a little aphids eaten, but it's coming back. This is this comes back every year. And this is my beloved um, bay, bay laurel bush, which got absolutely demolished by the by caterpillars about a month ago. And it was really sad. I mean, I just got so upset. Um, but it's it's coming back and you can even see little new new sprouts on it. See, those are all new. Those are all new. And I use this all the time. I've had this for about six years now. I just bring it in in the winter and take it out again in the spring. And it, it you know, now it's doing good, but you should have seen it a couple of months ago. It was tragic. And, you know, upstairs here, I moved all my basil. Maybe we, we don't have to go up there, but I moved all my basil up there because it was being eaten by, I think, slugs. And so now it's up there and it's doing really well. And next to it, I don't know if you can see, there's a, a little tomato plant. Um, this was given to a friend of mine by this very rich lady who lives somewhere around here who um, grows uh, heirloom vegetables. And this supposedly is a Galapagos tomato, whatever that means. And she told my friend that it will produce 10,000 tomatoes. I really find that hard to believe, but <clears throat> I mean, it just looks like a normal tomato. But, but I'll, I'll report back, you know, towards August and we'll see what we get. I mean, it could be like this, you know, cascading nightmare of tomatoes. I mean, I have no idea, but we'll see. And yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, and then I have more nasturtium up there. I use the nasturtium for lots of things. I put them in salads. I actually made nasturtium vinegar. I made a lot of vinegars this week. And um, they're doing really good. Look at the beautiful colors, flowers, looking good. All right, well, I think that's about it for now. Um, maybe I'll, I'll come back to you guys maybe in, in, maybe end of July, August, and I'll show you how things are going. And I have a, a great summer cooking. Um, and I hope you all grow herbs. It's really beautiful. Oh, one other thing. I forgot about this. All my lavender is being overshadowed by all this damn bee balm, and I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I think I'm just going to have to replant it. Anyway, that's, that's, for another, that's for another day. I should get on that soon. It's looking pretty good, but it's, it's kind of not getting enough sun. All right, I think that's it for now. Okay. Bye, guys. Talk to you later.